determine the tension in the string while the system is at rest okay let's take a look so this is the prelim exam 2025 paper one block a has a mass of five cages and block c has a mass of three cages block a is placed on a rough table with a coefficient of static friction of 0 0.2 Block A and block C are connected via a light inextensible rope over a frictionless pulley and block B is placed on top of block A. It's shown in the diagram below. The system is only just at rest and on the point of sliding. All right. And then 2.2 .2, determine the tension in the string while the system is at rest. So this tension between A and C as they are connected by a light inextensible string. So A, I'm very hesitant when it comes to using A because there's B on top of A, of which I don't even know the mass of B. So it's better if I try find a way to use C in order to find the tension first. If that does not work, then I'm going to be forced to use A and B. But initially, it's better if we start with C because we have all the variables that we need with regards to C. So let's take a look. 2.2 so what can we do then so first things first we need a free body diagram obviously just to see what is happening right i don't even know if the free body diagram is going to come in handy but i want to see what is happening i want to be one with the question right understand the situation see what is going on so first things first this weight right because weight is always there right so we have weight what else do we have it's hanging on a string so we have tension which is upwards right so we have tension so when it comes to c these are the only two forces that we have and these two forces are equals to each other as the equation says the system is only just at rest and on the point of sliding so we know that the tension is equals to the weight All right so there we go we can use c in order to find the tension we'll say that the tension is equals to the weight we know that the weight is mass multiplied by the gravitational acceleration so that is going to be 3 multiplied by 9.8 right and now i just need to substitute that in my calculator and then say it's 29.4 newtons right because it's tension it's a force so there we go 2.2 pretty much straightforward let's take a look at 2.3 draw a label free body diagram showing all the forces acting on block a so first things first weight right and then we're gonna think after <laughs> right so we have the weight now we can start thinking so we have the weight uh we have the tension as well because a and c are connected by a string right so we have tension going to the left and then we have some coefficient of static friction so that tells us as well that we have some frictional force which will be in that direction it will be to the right because uh, the system is about to start sliding to the left so the frictional force should be to the right so that is tension frictional force wait what else do we have is the resting on a surface right a is the resting on a surface so obviously we're gonna have the normal force right but on top of A, we have B. Obviously, B exists a force on A downwards. So we have weight and the force as a consequence of B. As for which is greater than which, it does not really matter. You can make FB to be greater than weight. You are still going to get all the marks. Because at this point, when you're drawing the free body diagram, well, we know the weight, but we don't know the mass of B. So we cannot conclude and say, whether fb is greater than weight or weight is greater than fb all options will all, the two options are going to be fine so that is 2.3 let's take a look at 2.4 right so 2.4 what is happening calculate the minimum weight of block b needed to prevent block a from sliding minimum weight of block b needed to prevent block a from sliding huh, so let's see we have a free body diagram here so where does block b feature on this free body diagram we have the tension we can equate the tension to the frictional force because we know that those two should be close to each other because the system is only just at rest so let's see 
we can say that f9 is equals to ma right and then the tension minus the frictional force should be equals to zero because the system is only just at rest so what are we saying we're saying that the frictional force is equals to the tension right and then here in the frictional force it's where we are actually going to have the mass of b which we're looking for so we're going to have the coefficient multiplied by the normal force being equals to well <laughs> maybe i should write that a little bit closer uh, the coefficient multiplied by the normal force being equals to the tension uh, we know the value of the tension is 29.4 so the normal force in this instance will be all right let me calculate the normal force will be the mass of a which is 5 plus the mass of b which is what we're interested in essentially multiplied by 9.8 so we have multiplied by 9.8 so the normal force 5 multiplied by 9.8 that is 49 plus 9.8 mass of b so there we go uh we're gonna have the coefficient which is said to be 0 0.2 so we have 0 0.2 multiplied by 49 plus 9.8 mass of b and this is equal to the tension which is 29.4 so what i'm going to do i'm going to oh, divide both sides by 0 0.2 and then when i do that 29.4 divided by 0 0.2 that is 147 so 9.8 as mb the mass of b is 147 minus 49 which is 98 so the mass of b is equal to 10 kilograms so calculate the minimum weight of block b oh the question says the minimum weight so i'm not look, actually looking for the mass i'm looking for the uh, minimum weight so needed to prevent block a from sliding this is the grade 12 final examination like the grade 12 final examination the examination that decides the future of most people so let's take a look at what's happening so friday the 31st of october is mathematics paper one and on the following monday the 3rd of november is mathematics paper two right that very same week that you write mathematics paper two you write physical sciences paper one on friday and on the upcoming monday you write physical sciences paper two but let's be honest with each other there's still a few topics that you're struggling with in math and science if you go to my youtube bio you'll find the three links book one on one section course and email so what you want to click on is book one on one section you've taken a step in the right direction and now it's time for you to book a session with me one on one session is focused support tailored to your needs and the group session is an interactive session for you and your friends so you can invite your friend a few friends and then we can have the session together so let's say you want to book a one-on-one -on -one session so you're going to click on that you'll decide on how long you want the session to be do you want the session to be an hour one hour 30 minutes or two hours let's say you want the session to be two hours right so now it's same for you to select a date let's say you want to have the session on september the 4th so you're going to click on that and after you do that, you're going to see the available times. So if 5 p.m. work for you, you're going to click 5 p.m. And if 6 p.m. works for you, you're going to click 6 p.m. So let's say you want to book a session for 6 p.m. So you're going to click that. After you do that, there's a few information that I need. First things first, I need your name. So let's say, for instance, your name is John, right? Uh, the second thing I need is your email. So john at gmail.com, right? And then I need your number as well. Another important detail that I need is the topic that you need help with. So let's say, for instance, you need help with acid and bases and to be specific, pH calculations. If you have any further question, you can WhatsApp me or give me a call on the number provided or leave a question and I will give you a call. Right. And after you do that, you just need to make a payment to the account provided based on the amount of hours that you want. Final exam is around the corner. You need to act right now. Can't wait to hear from you. Okay, so the minimum weight will therefore be 10 multiplied by 9.8, uh, which is just uh, 98. Yeah, 98 newtons. 
yeah, I almost missed the point right there. I knew the physics, but I almost missed what the question was looking for. So, right, that is the weight. So, essentially, it implies that uh, we can just set up an equation for the weight at this point as well and just use that. Yeah, but ultimately, we should get a weight of block B being 98 newtons. Here we go. Let me know which video you want me to do next in the comments.